make it more easy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I did have a comment this morning on one that video that I posted to you. Really? Really? <laughs> Somebody wrote up. Uh, they really enjoyed the video. And when are you going to post more? <laughs> well, here you go. Oh, another. here's another thing. This is a labor-saving device. If one puts a sponge down, like so, and then can just lay another sponge loosely right there, this sponge will pick off all the water flying off, and your throwing table stays dry. Yeah. You're not buried in this slop and crap. <laughs> then two, when you when you center and you're ready to start to push and center out there, this part of the hand is the is the most valuable part because it creates, in essence, a finished piece. That is, this is a bowl. It will hold water. There you go. So all you have to do is sophisticate the form. So let's do a bowl. I like to try and do my things, no matter what the scale is, in about three to four pulls. That was number one. Here's number two. Drop the lip, collect the water, smooth the interior, this is a finished piece, it's now ready to be glazed. These pieces I always do is one fired pieces. Oh, this is once fired. Once fired. This is an example. It's a reject, but I keep it around because I need to use it from time to time. So this piece was uh, dried and then glazed. That's it. Done. And to get the piece off, I take a little bit of clay out because the clay that exists in here now is quite wet. And in order to pick this off the wheel head, I want it to be dry and sticky clay that's in perfect harmony with my wet but sticky fingers. That way I can pick the piece up without distortion. Again, as soon as it's dry enough, I'll flip it over so it can uh, dry more evenly on the bottom and then trim a little bit of a foot onto it like I've done here. Mm -hmm. 